During a large asphalt resurfacing project on Interstate 20 in the Dallas Metroplex, Texdon officials discovered a badly deteriorated four-barrel culvert. The deteriorated 42 to 48 inch pipes were causing a void to form between the pipes and the road surface ground above the pipes, making it at risk for sinkholes. Texdon officials chose in situ form technologies incorporated to rehabilitate the deteriorated pipes using cured in place pipe or CIPP technology. This rehabilitation process would restore structural integrity to the damaged pipes, increase flow capacity, and extend the life of the pipes for 50 to 100 years without digging or disrupting the ground above. Texdot did not have to shut down any lanes of traffic during the rehabilitation. The CIPP tube, made of felt and specially manufactured to the correct diameter and thickness for each application, is impregnated with a thermosetting resin and shipped to the job site in a refrigerated truck. The tube must be kept cool and protected from direct sunlight, so the resin does not start to cure. A CIPP tube is pulled into the hose pipe using a winch unit. In situ form rehabilitated this and one other pipe using I plus composite. I plus composite is a CIPP product reinforced with glass and or carbon fiber for added strength. Fiber composite reinforcement allows in situ form to provide a fully structural product with roughly half the wall thickness of conventional CIPP. Once the CIPP tube is in place, the in situ form installation unit is positioned in front of the host pipe. The installation unit is used to invert an inflation tube inside the CIPP tube and to expand the CIPP tube to the size and shape of the host pipe. The inflation tube is fed into the installation unit, folded back over and attached to the boot of the unit. Air pressure is used to invert the inflation tube, consolidating the CIPP tube and inflation tube and pressing the CIPP tube against the host pipe. The finished product will be a jointless, seamless pipe within a pipe that fits tightly against the hose pipe walls. Once the tube is fully inflated against the hose pipe, steam is introduced to cure the thermosetting resin within the felt layers of the CIPP tube. Steam is uniformly distributed throughout the tube to ensure an even cure throughout the length of the pipe. Interface temperature readings are taken every 30 minutes and a cure log is maintained throughout the process. Cure times will vary based on the diameter and thickness of the tube. To complete the process, ends are removed and trimmed and the site is restored to the condition prior to installation. In situ form restored structural integrity to all four pipes without closing one lane of traffic. Motorists face minimal impact as a four-barrel culvert was reinforced underneath the roadway and received a new 50 to 100 year lease on life.